It is 105.9 The Mountain Nashville's Classic Rock, the Rizzo and Jeff Show. Jeff, we have a lot to talk about today. We do. It's a wet and wild adventure this morning, yes. It, it is, yes. and uh, listener court is going to be interesting because... Well, we disagree fundamentally on what we should do. <laughs> you think it's a weird situation. I've never encountered it, but I, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, so right around the time that we give away our first $1,000, uh, you're going to want to be listening because uh, there's something very weird going on in my place of residence. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, it, it should end, uh, but something tells me that you won't let it end. But uh, 8 o'clock, we'll, we'll dive into that for sure. Uh, yeah, but first, obviously, those of you who drive at this time, you wait, you opine. We've gotten calls. I know. Glenn, Mark, everyone in the car. Yeah, that's All true. Right. <laughs> that's two of the whole listening audience. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you wait for opening audio, and uh, I will not disappoint today with a triple scoop. Uh, we have a triple scoop opening audio. We have a waiter, a $500 lolly, and a drunk forklift operator. So, wow. All right. Okay. Would you give a lick to a $500 lolly? Uh, no, I don't even know what would be in a $500 lollipop to <laughs> lick it. No. <laughs> well, we're uh, going to find out what's in a $500 what lolly. What the heck would be in a $500 lollipop? That, was, that you could just lick away and enjoy it. No, I wouldn't touch it. Well, actually. if you watched the show Drew. Drew Barrymore show? <laughs> yeah. Wow, sorry I missed that one. <laughs> Hold your horses. It's 105.9 The Mount Nashville's Classic Rock, the Rizzo and Jeff show. It's time for uh, opening audio, and boy, do we have a lot of studly treats for you. It's time for opening audio here on the Rizzo and Jeff Show. <laughs> a fun, funny way to start your day on 105.9 The Mountain. Is that the, what what was that the face was just none of it makes sense. <laughs> what okay? doesn't make sense? What comes out of your mouth, you know? You what? hit the on button and then you... It's just not to make sense? Just things just come out and... All right, go ahead. All right, so before we get to the $500 lolly, we have some studly things coming your <laughs> and way. And by the way, the sell for this lolly, <laughs> the payoff... <laughs> It's a big time lolly. Oh, yeah, okay, all right. All right, so first we go to Manhattan, New York, where a waiter is very angry at some elders. Okay. I just finished serving these three women, and they asked me if they can get their food wrapped, so I go and get three boxes and bring it out to them. Mm. They're like, what is this? That's a to-go box, ma'am. She's like, aren't you a rocket scientist? <laughs> I just want to remind you that that's the box you asked for. She's like, we were more so confused why you couldn't wrap it for us since we're three nice old ladies at a fancy restaurant. Girly, like, each of your meals was only like 26 bucks with a drink. Like, I don't think that's like that fancy of a restaurant in New York City. So I'm just like, I'm sorry, ma'am. This is just policy. She's like, well, then your tip will reflect it. At this point, I'm so done. I'm like, you know what, ma'am? I'll wrap that for you. No problem. I take back their food, dump it straight in the trash, Put the boxes in bags, give it to them. They smile and tip me 25%. Why don't you be nice to your servers next time? Okay, see that, dude? That's a guy who can't handle a $500 lolly. All right, see, this is a man right here. He's angry at the old ladies. He's taking oh. his anger out on the elderly. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't think handling a lolly is a problem for him. <laughs> uh, just, you know. The, you know. Just the gas. Just box the food and just send them on their way, Okay. <laughs> It's, he it didn't want a box. It they uh, asked for right. to-go boxes. Right. You box your own food. Uh, so what? You know, you got a couple of the old ladies there, a couple of miserables. You buy, <laughs> yeah, you now box. He sends them on yeah, with empty stuff. You box oh. up the panini and send them on their way. Kid. Yes. All, right. All right. It's time for opening audio here on the Rizzo and Jeff Show. A fun, funny way to start your day on 105.9 The Mountain. Now, I was going to do it second, but I built it up so much yeah. we're going to have to hold the fi the $500 lolly yeah. for land. You're going to turn this off and never come back. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, there was a forklift operator who was uh, so drunk that um, he had to be forcibly removed from the forklift. Uh, he's incoherent. He's sleeping. Uh, and he was trying to knock down a building. Okay. All right. This is what happened. Do me a favor. Turn around. Can I get a shot? Turn the around. Machine nope. You're going to stay right here. Keep your hands together like you're praying, okay? You? Just like that. All right, John? What are you talking about? So you were in direct immediate control of the vehicle when we pulled up here. You looked like you were falling asleep. Based off of our observations, everything like that, you're being placed under arrest for DUI today, okay? Damn. 
Steve. We'll explain it to Steve. They tagged me to jail. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So obviously, okay, they so call what? him John. They, 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 so obviously, John's quite a problem. He's knocking down a building. What does that take? It's probably even more fun when you're drunk, you know? I, I get it, but, you know, God forbid you whack the shovel head the mm. wrong way. Like, do you remember that book, the, ju- the what was it, the Happy Steam Shovel? No, no. With a forklift and knocking down a building when you're drunk, that's like you bowl better when you're drunk. You, you play pool better when you're drunk, right, at the bar. Yeah, I, you know, I guess. You axe throw better when you're drunk. Do okay. you lick lolly better? Well, the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for opening audio here on the Rizzo and Jeff Show. A fun, funny way to start your day on 105.9 The Mountain. Well, you've been waiting, and now the time has come. Drew Barrymore, refusing to let any food go to waste, brings out uh, a Price is Right light like game. Uh, on the Drew Barrymore show, they played, uh, you know, it was basically, you know, you have two items. You got to guess which one's more expensive, okay. right? What, what is this? Wasn't she, with, she was with 50 Cent? She was with 50. 50. Okay. Yeah, she was with 50. Curtis Jackson, yeah. And uh, they go over to these, uh, you know, rings and, and earrings and things of that nature. And then they go to two lollies. Now, the one lolly is a beautiful lolly. It's uh, circular. It's 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 got like, you know, like looks like gold flakes on it or something. But it was a $10 lolly. And, and you know, Fitty fit, picked that one because he was like, this little lolly here, mm-hmm. this can't be worth much. Right. Oh, no, 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 Curtis. Oh, no, 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 Fitty. Let me tell you about this. $500 lolly. I did serious investigations. Would you ever pay $500 for a sucker? No, but I feel like that right there was $100. I know. I know, no, no, break. I know, by the way. When we broke that, that was $100. I know. Here, I'll just eat it. I don't care. I eat off the floor. <laughs> I, you can judge me all you want. <laughs> all right. So it fell. She uh, broke it. Now, let me tell you why you say to yourself, why in the world is that a $500 lolly? Well, I'll be I'll be happy to tell you, okay? The lolly is made of edible platinum with a vintage 2013 champagne uh, from Italy, cane sugar imported from Colombia, and they only make... Ten of these delicious lollies per year. So uh, this is quite the gobsmack. Wow. When you find out that you have a $500 lolly, you drop it and bam. Wow, folks, I got to tell you, we're coming out of the gate flaccid because that (laughs) story could have been one of the top five worst you have ever told. The payoff for it. Uh, was what are you terrible. talking about? The Drew Barrymore show is a suck dry. Uh, that, <laughs> so? show, that show is painful. So? Okay. That's, uh, that is, that thing is a, uh, oh boy. That's a colonoscopy awake. And you're telling yeah, me yeah. that you didn't feel that no. like that payoff for the lolly? I, no. And that- Listening to Drew Barrymore lick a lollipop is not very exciting. And the more this continues on, the more I just hear <laughs> listeners changing the radio station. So let's move on. All right, yes. All right. <laughs> the Rizzo and Jeff Show. One is older and wiser. The other, well, the other's life fell to pieces and his fiance is out of glue. Yeah, you get what you get. Here's to hoping we made the right decision. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on 105.9 The Mountain. The pettiness of local news people. It's 105.9 The Mountain, Nashville. It's Claire Zagrock. You got the Rizzo and Jeff Show. 6.30 on the button. Uh, Jeff, here's the thing. Local news people, they uh, they have a little bit of an ego, Jeff. They think they, they are television celebrities. They do. They do. Uh, it's very different from us, uh, you know, on the radio here. We're pretty simple, uh, easy to get along with. You meet us. You know, we're, we're, we take we're not pictures. Com- we go out. We don't. Not, we don't think our poo doesn't smell. We're not coming out and you know with perfectly quaffed hair and in suits and things like that. No, y- you meet us. You know, there could be a stain on the shirt. Okay, it right. Just there is could. What it is. There could be Dunkin' coffee. Uh, right, you know, right, on there. It right. is what it is. But Jeff, I and correct me if I'm wrong. They actually this newscasting team. Specifically, did a story to shame. They did. they did either an intern, 
in entry level production says, and I want you to hear it, and I want you to tell me if you think they did the same. I mean, I don't know. I, Am it, I wrong? It, this is a totally made up story. When you hear this, it was just it was like they just came on, made this up. It's the easiest story to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, we could create it right now in ten seconds. So it's totally made up, just to shame somebody for sure. Yeah, listen to what they did. Monster.com has come up with a list of the top five rudest behaviors in the mm. workplace coming in at number one not cleaning up after yourself now first off why right. would you start off at number right. one right you count right? backwards you and you come backwards. out right. right it makes okay. sense All right. yes uh-huh. case in point someone left this dental mm. floss pick in our control room mm. <laughs> uh, for our producers to find this morning there's a close-up no one knows if it's used or not but again no one's brave enough to Oh, oh, Taylor's saying it's used, and no one's brave enough yeah. to touch it, so they're just going to walk around it all morning. Mm. Number two on the list of rude behavior, gossiping. Rounding out the top five, mm. using inappropriate language, being unresponsive to messages, and consistently being late to meetings. The job <laughs> website pulled more than 1,000 U.S. workers. They took no. 12 seconds yeah. to go from number uh, four to number one, uh, or excuse sorry, me, number to, uh, two, two to, to five. five. Yeah. And they took 40 seconds. Right. To shame a news worker. They were, every one of those things was a shot at somebody that I think we, they know who it is. So that list was totally made up. So the person's dirty, well, I even talks think, nasty, shows up to meetings late, all of it. Yeah. I even think they brought this producer lady up that they're talking about because they think it's her. Because again, they started off and then they yeah. go, rudest behaviors in the workplace. Coming in at number one. Not cleaning up after yourself. Case in point, someone left this dental floss pick in our control room. Uh, For our producers to find this morning, there's a close-up. No one knows if it's used or not, but again, no one's brave enough to... Oh, Oh. Taylor's saying it's used, and no one's brave enough to touch it. Why would Taylor know it's used? Therefore, you know you're calling Taylor out on TV. Right. right, So so you're getting Taylor. Right. Poor Taylor. Taylor. Right. Taylor did nothing wrong. Taylor's just trying to do her job, and there you are just newsing away. Yep. You're yep. just newsing. Your local petty news attitude. It's it's terrible. Yeah. I'm sorry to say this. And listen, you know, we, we do uh, a radio show, but we're good people. Yeah. But the, we would never, we would never belittle our compadres. <laughs> no. No. No matter what happened. No, no matter what we felt about our, our, our local radio compadres. Right. We would never sit there and, and, and shame them. No, absolutely this, not. This is local news. And it's, I mean, you know what? And this is the world that Oprah comes from. This is the world that Gail King comes from. This is This is the world. Well, at the time Oprah was doing it, she was having a toured love affair with John Tesh. I wish they would have called that out a long time ago, you know? Well, so you know what's really funny? You ever think they made a video? Do I think that Oprah and John Tesh rolled up the old school Beta camera Max. that you put on your shoulder? Mm-hmm. And, Tesh just, and Tesh just held it and said, mm-hmm. all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In his pleather jacket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thoughts, opinions, and things said on this show, we've chalked up to just a part of their journey. Here's to hoping some good music, and the next thing they talk about is a little better. More music and Rizzo and Jeff show coming up on 105.9 The Mountain. Do you enjoy fish in a can? Rizzo and Jeff, 105.9 The Mountain Nashville's Classic Rock. Simple question. Fish, can, yes, no. Uh, listen, uh, once in a blue moon, there could be a tuna fish adventure, depending. Uh, you know, it's got to be. No, I'm know, talking full about. fish. I'm no, talking no, sardines. I I've seen, like, whole chickens in a can before. It Wasn't there something? What? Like, a few years ago, there was that whole viral, like, uh, Thanksgiving dinner in a can. Remember that? And, like... There's I've all, never seen chicken you know, in a can. They oh, don't yeah. put chicken in a can. Oh, uh, well, you don't watch enough Chopped. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> yes, they do. So you can get, like, a whole chicken that comes just slap. You pour it out of the can, and it's just a whole chicken in a can, I'm telling you. Well, no. there is this diet, Jeff, and uh, it's, it was started by this doctor who's now in a little bit of hot water because uh, it's apparently hurting people because of the high levels of sodium and the fact that there's poison in some... Uh, sardines in high doses. Sardines for three days? Why would a doctor recommend that? Let's start by covering the benefits of a sardine. Mm. Sardines are so nutritionally dense Mm. that you might be surprised to see all the stuff that we've got packed into them. 
My friend and colleague Judy Cho did one of the best infographics on these sardines. Yeah. Her infographic shows that it's high in <laughs> omega threes mm. and vitamin D and mm. E and the kind of calcium that's super easy for your body to absorb along with the important minerals that are tucked into these little special fish. What she neglected okay. to tell you is that they're all salt. Well, the, okay. well the, a, a you're can, eating fish eyes. A single can of sardines uh, is about 12% of the daily recommended uh, milligrams of sodium that you should have. So for somebody, say that you have <laughs> high blood pressure, this could be a death sentence to you if you decide to listen to Judy Cho... Okay, and go and go on a a a, a, a diet of sardines. Don't listen to Cho on well, this. Wait, one. is this was it Cho? Well, yeah, was it Cho? My friend and colleague Judy Cho did. Oh, Judy was Cho. She, I see, I thought it was Judy Chode. Oh, Chode. Man. <laughs> okay, dude. What is this? Ninety two. <laughs> 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 Uh, you just you hanging at the mall, you mall rat. <laughs> Listen, the point is, don't eat fish in a can. It's bad for you. You're okay. going to get mercury poisoning. Right. You're, you know, sardines. Don't make a sardine, Listen, Sammy. It's, don't it's, mouth fish. By, by the way, they do have a uh, they do have arsenic in them as well. A little bit, I think, don't they? So whatever. So uh, look, it's uh, if there's a diet to go on, don't listen to Cho on this puppy. Uh, just right. kind of uh, you know, I don't know, make some. Salmon or something. Say no to Cho. Just say no to Cho. No, no to Cho. Okay. Come on, Weaverville. It's time to rock out with the Rizzo and Jeff show. Nobody? Candler? Black Mountain? Anka? Woodfin? Bueller? Anyone? Well, they're new, so here's to rocking out. The Rizzo and Jeff show, and we got Johnny on the phone. Johnny, what's going on, man? What's going on, you bunch of pantsles? <laughs> no, the much man just talking about Dr. Cho and uh, her recommendation of fish and all that. Naughty newscasters. Well, here's, yeah, here's Dr. Johnny. Okay, Bubba? Okay. So, did you get my text on the frog legs? Yeah, so what, were you eating frog legs on the cruise? Yeah, that was an appetizer. Mmm. Mm. You and like how, they, how many of those did you eat, Johnny? How about six or eight? But wow. anyway, so yeah, man. What about you know pigs' feet in a jar? Now here's here's the thing: pigs' feet to me, I can't hoove it. I can't eat anything that has a hoof. No, can't I don't hoof. want any. Fa- I see like people cook chicken feet and all kinds. I yeah. can't do any feet. No you claws, yeah, no hooves. Yeah. yeah. Can you do feet? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, feet's good. Yeah, I like feet. Yeah, man. You like feet? <laughs> yeah, okay. okay, let, let me right, ask right. you something. What about the sardines? Sardines are okay because you can take those. They're compact. They're <laughs> compact. Now, so here's the deal. You know, you know them little Vienna sausages. You know them little uh, in the can. Oh, oh, oh. yes, and uh, and we know we, that we are it, very familiar. And with here Vienna's. in North Carolina, we know that canned meats are a hit. Man, I tell you right now. You can go somewhere and throw a couple of them in your sack and your backpack of sacky, and then just open them up and eat you some crackers. That kind of take it takes that old uh, jelly gooky stuff out of it just a hire. Okay. Okay, so you're telling us to go to the store, get uh, canned Vienna sausages, grab some crackers to get the goopy stuff off, and have at it. Oh yeah, man! I tell you what. I may do a little project, kind of like the Kit Kat ketchup challenge for you boys. Okay. Uh, oh, uh-huh. we gonna get a we gonna get a, a sardine video, or you you may get a sardine video here coming up in the next day or two, <laughs> and we'll wash her down with some buttermilk. No, oh, oh, boy, jo- there's no yeah. way, Johnny. That, please, that should that should work wonders on the colon. I, I'll, t- yeah. I'll tell you <laughs> what, you have to report to us how how you how you did afterwards, okay? And make when you send oh, yeah. them. Okay, yeah, all, right. Yeah, man. All, all right, right. All, all right, all right. You get that buttermilk and and fish ready, okay? It's on, baby. I'll send it to you, homie. Uh, <laughs> all right, bro. I'll talk to you soon, all right? See you, boys. All, all right, right see you. There you go. All right, all buttermilk right. Johnny with fish. <laughs>
buttermilk and sardines. What could go wrong? <laughs> Here's the Foo Fighters. It's 105.9 The Mountain Asheville's Classic Rock. It is 105.9 The Mountain Asheville's Classic Rock. The Rizzo and Jeff Show. Time for the JNN. Brought to you by our good friends at Train Heating and Cooling Systems. They are tested, retested, engineered, and re-engineered to keep up with you because we run it together. Visit traininfo.com to find your local independent train dealer. That's traininfo.com. Because it's hard to stop a train. The JNN, no longer Asheville's newest, but still least reliable news outlet. Guys, can't we just tell them to go to 828news.com? All right, fine. The JNN Jeff News Network is ready to inform, enlighten, and, well, keep trying anyways. The JNN is on 105.9 The Mountain now. So we've been talking about it for months, and it finally happened. Yeah. Uh, it was actually supposed to happen today, but uh, they got ahead of it. Uh, last night, uh, Homeland Security, who uh, generally deals, typically they handle sex trafficking probes, they arrested Diddy in New York last night, and we have uh, some audio about that. We have some breaking news tonight, as we can now report here at CNN that the embattled musician and producer Sean Diddy Combs has now been arrested. That's according to the mogul's attorney and what they are telling CNN tonight. According to a source, Combs was arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening. He is right now being processed. The charges are unclear at this time, and an attorney for Combs tells CNN, quote, we are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs. Mm. CNN's Elizabeth Wagmeister is with, a, is with us right now. Elizabeth, what can you tell us about this arrest tonight? He has 10 civil suits against him, uh, many of which include very disturbing allegations of, of drugging. Uh, it's important to note that Combs has uh, denied most of these allegations. Now, again, yeah. maybe this is justice for Reginald Bell Johnson. We're not well, sure. But... Reginald enjoyed it. But uh, here's the thing. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so they, it's gonna, this morning he's going to be arraigned. That's when they're going to unseal uh, the uh, the documents yeah. about uh, all the charges that are going to be going uh, against him. So uh, supposedly he knew that this was coming. That's part of the reason why he went to New York, I guess, to make this a little bit easier. So he was staying at the Park Hyatt in Manhattan. And uh, and they just came to the hotel to got him. So, he, you know, I guess they're saying that he's being cooperative with the whole thing. But uh, you know, we're going to see. Does he even get out after this? Uh, he's got a lot of money. So, you know. Listen, it didn't save Epstein, didn't save R. Kelly. Yeah. I mean, there are certain lines you just don't cross. And did he done cross them lines? And uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll know more. We'll know yeah, more this morning. Yes, so. we will. What? Are we still doing this? Really? Wow. Okay. The JNN is puttering. Be it around the 828, out in Canton, being lapped by silver sneakers at the French Broad River, or just rereading news by reputable news sources. The JNN is on your radio now on 105.9 The Mountain. Red Lobster, now they say, is going to be stronger and more resilient after it has exited Chapter 11 wow. bankruptcy protection. Flavor, okay. flavor. All right. So uh, they're saying it's going to start a, a new chapter in, in history. And uh, you know, it's it's a now new chapter in history. I don't know about all that. Well, it's now an independent, privately held company. Uh, they still have 545 locations in uh, 44 states, and uh, no worries in four of the Canadian provinces as well. Oh, that's good. That's so good. Uh, yeah. you know, more than uh, 60 million dollars in new funding. Uh, so in 2023, it lost uh, close to a hundred million dollars, and we know that it shut down a lot of places. And then we had talked about Flavor Flav, and yeah, it, uh, you know, I, I guess Him we were stepping a little, in to save the day. We was, were a little critical, but yeah, we did were it help? critical. Did it help? I guess it did. I mean, it's good to know that Manitoba has a Red Lobster, although they don't have one in New uh, New Nuvant. Uh, that's a little disappointing. Mm. But uh, Saskatchewan, Saskatoon, yeah. all filled with Red Lobsters. Yeah, no worries. Canadians for the safe. <laughs> Canadians for the safe. That's we asked them to stop, but they just keep making it worse. So we pick and choose our battles. The Jeff News Network, or as you might know it, the JNN, is on your radio, limping like it's anchored to the finish line. We promise it'll all be over soon and then back to some music. On 105.9 The Mountain. The Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, uh, just turned 40. Had his 40th birthday on Sunday and for his 40th birthday... Did he get a card? He did not just get a card. Oh. Uh, his uh, great-grandmother, 
uh, Queen Elizabeth, uh, the His Queen great, Mother, the Queen Mother, the Queen Mother, uh, uh, put more than ten million dollars into a trust fund for him, uh, twenty five million for the kids, but ten million for him alone, and he inherited on his birthday on Sunday ten million dollars uh, for his birthday. Yeah. Wow. Happy yeah. 40th, huh? Yeah. You know, yeah somebody I mean, throw me a hundred bucks, I'd be I dancing know. in the what, street. What did I get you even? I don't, you know, for your birthday. Uh, uh, I think a South Park hoodie and uh-oh. a It's Your Birthday. Oh. On Facebook. On Facebook, on I Facebook. said It's Your it's Birthday. It's Your Birthday and then a South Park and hoodie. And a South Park hoodie. Which, by the way, I really do enjoy. Yeah. You know, but a couple couple Fozzies would have been better, you know what I mean? I must have found a sale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, what yep. was it? What was uh, it? It's a, what you washed it once and it's gone. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it since. Yeah. If you live in Weaverville, Woodfin, Anka, Black Mountain, Asheville, Fletcher, look, if you can hear this, we're trying our best to help them. And hey, it's gotten better, right? A little? Well, there's some music coming too. The Rizzo and Jeff Show will be back on 1059 The Mountain. You could be one word away from a chance to win $1,000 weekdays in the 8 a.m., 11 a.m., 2 p.m., and 5 p.m. hours. All right. It's the classic cash contest. Just listen for the $1,000 keywords. Then go to 1059themountain.com to enter the keyword before midnight for a chance to win $1,000. The Wiggles. 1059 The Mountain, Nashville's Classic Rock. The Rizzo and Jeff Show causing quite the consternation. And I want to know if you agree. Now, this as parents divided. We all know or have heard of the Wiggles. Uh, they... Um, don't they know. tour and, th- and things? They still so, do. Like, they yeah. are a uh, beloved band, uh, children's. They sing children's songs like, uh, you know, one of their uh, most famous hits, Toot Toot Chugga Chugga Big Red Car, one of my favorites. Well, they were formed in 1991. Yeah, and I'm they, looking yeah, at them. Yeah. I mean, these yeah. guys look like they're in their 70s. And I guess I'm looking at a recent picture of the Wiggles, so they still go around and tour fresh from Australia there, really. They wow. do, and they release a new song, and maybe oh. it's because of the, the, the world of TikTok, but I, I think this is song is innocuous enough. I, maybe you disagree. 828-240-1059. We have tickets to hang out with us at uh, Beer Fest. Octoberfest. Uh, Octoberfest, I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, listener court's coming up as well, but I mean, do you do you hear anything wrong with this? Running and jumping, be careful not to fall. Make it even better when you bounce, bounce your ball. Bounce and bounce and balls, yeah, let's bounce and balls. Bounce and balls on the ground or against the wall. Yeah! Come on, everybody, bounce your balls. Basketball, volleyball, football, fun. If you can juggle your balls, you are number one. Bounce and bounce and balls, yeah, let's bounce and balls. I got to be honest with you. I love it. Do I you? like it. Okay. Well, look, uh, first off, taking a look at uh, the Wiggles, again, uh, I would never ask them to babysit my kids. Uh, yeah, well, one. no one asked the Wiggles yeah, okay, to babysit. Okay, okay. But, uh, uh, two, two I, I wonder when these songs are made, as they're sitting there as grown adults, right, and they got to make these songs. All right. Do they know what they're doing with it? Is there like an inside kind of thing here where we get it? Is this sort of balls? like that show Bluey where it's like they have adult humor or SpongeBob where they have adult humor even though? Yeah. Because, but- again, this is really about volleyballs, basketballs, juggling balls. I mean, again, is there, I mean, what's wrong with? Running and jumping, be careful not to fall. Make Running it- and jumping, be careful not to fall. Even better when you your ball. It's even better, better when you bounce, bounce your ball. Yeah, bouncing, bouncing balls, yeah, let's bouncing balls. Bouncing balls on the ground or against the wall. Huh? Yeah! Oh, boy. <laughs> Come on, everybody, bounce your balls. <laughs> I got to tell you, I, get, I think, I think well, there's something wrong with that. Well, I think what it is, is imagine your kid walking up to you after watching the Wiggles, and he goes, 
Mom, I learned from the Wiggles. If I can juggle my balls, I'm number one. Well, yeah. then you'd say, you, yeah. yeah, yes, you are. Yes, you are, number one, young man. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes. I don't think anything uh, wrong. All right. You don't like the Wiggles? Uh, uh, you know. Not babysitting the kids. All right. <laughs> We get it. We're new. So it's time for you to sound off on the Rizzo and Jeff show. Let us have it. What do you want to say to us? What do we need to know? Call now. 240-1059. Coming up on 105.9. It's time for Listener Court. Rizzo and Jeff have a problem they need help with. And you decide the outcome. Sort of like when you were caught speeding on 26, but you know it wasn't your fault. Kind of like that. Except one of them is really in the wrong. Listener Court is next on 105.9 The Mountain. It is 105.9 The Mountain. Nashville's class. Hook Rock, and so many people are calling about, should I report this pet monkey? I just wanted to kind of just, Grandma Emma said she had to go, so I wanted to have Grandma Emma uh, just kind of start us off here. To keep the monkey, you're not going to yeah. report the monkey, you're not report the monkey. Yeah, you got a neighbor with a monkey, it's going to be listener court. I say you report it and turn him in. Uh, mm. You know, you just want you just want monkey play time. I That's want monkey about. play, I want bubble yeah. time, all, all right. right? Grandma Emma, what do you think? Uh-huh. Heck no. I'm telling you, honey, when I was young, we had a monkey. Okay. And you're right. They are vicious. Was it nasty, your monkey? Uh, well, this, this monkey was climbing the rafters and throw knives at my mother. So, but when you first got the monkey, it was a cute little thing. Everybody loved it. But as it got older, did it get oh, more yeah. vicious? Yeah, the more we kept it, the more vicious it became. And fast forward to my first husband when I was 15 years old. Okay. Um, he wanted a monkey. So I allowed him to have a monkey, and it was the nastiest creature on the face of the earth. Could, it stunk. Oh, my God. Could it had to have done with your husband, who maybe wasn't the nicest guy? Because if you're around a nice person, this monkey could be a fun monkey. It's time for Listener Court. Kind of like Kramer and Kramer, but not as good. Or educated, or without real lawyers. Okay, it's just Rizzo and Jeff, and they're kind of upset about something and need your help. Listener Court begins now. Court is in session on 105.9 The Mountain. I hope you heard that uh, word. Uh, You go to 1059themountain.com. That is your first shot to win $1,000. Make sure that you type it in at 1059themountain.com. But we have more pressing issues at the moment. (laughs) Yeah, you think so? We got a monkey. And a monkey has moved in above our dwelling. This monkey is kind. It's, It's cute. It's it's bubbly, it's friendly, and uh, not only uh, is Jeff, but some of the neighbors are encouraging me to report this person. I think this person's going to be reported to our management office anyway, and it really upsets me Good. because this person's going to lose their home, all because they have a pet monkey. Now, I believe that a pet monkey is a wonderful choice, a wonderful friend. They're friendly, they're thoughtful, and I believe that we should, you know, live and let live. Let these people alone. Leave them alone. Like, what's wrong with having a monkey as a pet? What's the difference between a monkey and a cat and a dog? I'll tell you. Monkeys hold 98.2% of our DNA. Monkeys can use the bathroom. Monkeys can communicate. Monkeys can dress. Monkeys can dance. Monkeys can sing. Monkeys can have fun. Monkeys are the perfect pet. And for somebody who doesn't even live where I live to sit there and arbitrarily judge somebody because you don't think that this woman deserves a capuchin, excuse me, Jeff, excuse me. But... I would like to enter into evidence because somebody, call, and again, Grandma Emma called and, and vouched for Jeff. If you're just tuning in, she said, no, monkey, no way. My husband had one. It threw knives at my mom, okay? 
I would like to enter into the evidence. Okay, uh, Jimmy. Now, uh, Jimmy, uh, you know, I appreciate you uh, waiting on hold here, but uh, w- w- what are your thoughts about this monkey? And again, 828-240-1059. Uh, we have tickets to uh, hang with us at Oktoberfest, uh, but I-, I-, I just think, should you be allowed to have it as a pet, or should I report it? That's basically the scenario. Jimmy, good morning, Jimmy. Should I uh, report this monkey or not? What do you think here, Jim? Nah, live and let live. That's what I think. So, now my question is, and Jeff's assertion is that monkeys can be vicious. I've seen nothing but glee from this monkey. He dresses up, overalls, hats, you know what I mean? Nice monkey. You're allowed to have it in Asheville. Why do I want to report it? I'm not sure you are. I don't know what the full rules are, but I would assume you probably can't. I mean, unless he's done something to hurt you or something. Right, right Jimmy. and it would I, never uh, do that, Jimmy. Yeah. How would, do you know? You it, don't know this monkey. It would never do that, Jimmy, because it knows me. It loves me, Jimmy. I'll say live and let live. L- live and let live. That's what I'm talking about, my friend. That's what I, I appreciate you calling. And so, so you're you're for monkey. You're you're for having a monkey anytime, any place. Yeah, I mean, if if you like monkeys, then yeah, go for it. Hey, listen, right. I appreciate it. You're helping my case. 828-401-059. We had one nay from Grandma Emma. Now we have one yes. Jeff's side is up next. Don't go anywhere. Listener court Jeff's side. And should I report the monkey that lives above my head to my uh, landlord? I say nay. Let's have a monkey party. <laughs> it's time to pass your ruling. So put on your best Judge Judy or Night Court hat and call now. 828-240-1059. One of these guys is going home unhappy. It's time for part two of Listener Court. You heard one side, now it's time for the other. And then you'll decide who gets punished this week. Listener Court continues now. So Rizzo needs to do something, and it's the right thing. And he needs to turn in his neighbor. If you're just tuning in to Listener Card, uh, Rizzo has found out that his neighbor uh, above him has a monkey as a pet. Now, uh-huh. the, the way he found this out is because this person takes the monkey out, but takes it out in the cloak of the night. At about three in the morning, uh, while he's heading to work, is when he kind of sees this this monkey. And uh-huh. I told him, you need to say something to the management company. This needs to be reported, Okay. Now, everybody sees a monkey, you see it on TV, you see a baby monkey on YouTube. We all get caught up sometimes in those wormholes of those videos, but here's the problem. Monkeys, as they grow older, are not suitable as house pets, okay? They need space, companionship, they need mental stimulation, and just sitting there all the time is not going to do that for them. They could be dangerous. Uh, they, They need special diets, uh, they need to be with other primates, other animals, okay? Now, some of them could live 20 to 40 years, but you kind of keep them in cat- uh, captivity like that in a smaller captivity. place. It is. They need the room to move, okay? They and have bounce their around. own room, Jeff. It's the monkey's not got its own room. And we've seen too many of the stories where, you know, look, these monkeys can get vicious. They can turn on you. You heard from Grandma Emma started throwing knives as it got older. Okay, okay? what well, was mean? And then you just wanted, for because the kid, oh, Danny, I like a monkey. Well, when your kid's missing half its face after you babysit it, then you're going to feel bad, okay? It's a little monkey, uh, Jeff. It's not a big monkey. I'm not talking about like a gorilla-sized monkey. I'm talking about like a cute little monkey. I'm not even talking about a bubble-sized monkey. I'm you, talking about a look, little monkey. If you are with me for the safety of Rizzo, his family, and everybody oh, else involved man, in this scenario. Dude. And you agree with me that it's time for him to turn his neighbor in who has this monkey, 828-240-1059. Feel free to join Listener Court. We have tickets to Oktoberfest, and I'm going to tell you, this is going to turn bad. Something bad's going to happen with this scenario, and you're going to look back at this and go, Jeff, you were right. I'm telling you. We have one nay from Grandma Emma, who had a bad monkey experience. Okay. We I'm, have one yay from a man who said that monkeys are nice. What say you? Because I'm telling you, I don't want to turn this person in. I I want them to live and let live. Who am I to interrupt in their life? Oh, and your biggest argument with this is Michael Jackson and Bubbles? Yes. Okay. Michael Jackson lived fine with Bubbles. Yeah. Wow. Yes. 
It's because they were both on probable. <laughs> <laughs> Worked out. Haven't you always wanted to pass judgment on these guys publicly? We get it. Us too. Now's your chance. Time to do your best night court impression. Call Rizzo and Jeff now. 828-240-1059. Your judgment. This is 1059 the Mount Nashville's Classic Rock. Let's get right to it. We got Ashley who's been patient. Ashley, good morning. What do you think here, huh? Good morning. I think... Um... I mean, we're wanting one now. My family wants wants a monkey now, and we're looking for one. Oh, um, they're legal here at Nashville. They're legal or illegal? No, they're legal. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, so you want a pet monkey yourself? Absolutely. Say, See, so, you uh, monkeys need to be with other monkeys, no, not with human beings. That's not true. That's it's a little monkey. They're not big. Thank you. Oh, okay. Right. They're cute. They're little. You dress them up. Everything's fine, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's it. They're just, they're, they're a toy. That's, they're not. No, they've got to have, you got to have a, like an area designated for them to be able yep. to play on and, and things. But, yep. Do you but they're have, legal. Do you have a, uh, a, a monkey uh, place planned out or anything yet? Yes. Oh, see oh that? you planned out a monkey you place. Out. Oh, no. Come on, folks. Uh, do, do me a favor, actually. Hang on for uh. just one second. That's great. Let's get uh, Cynthia in here. Cynthia, thanks for holding. What do you think here? Monkey, no monkey? I think leave the monkey alone and mind your business. That really suck if you reported it and they had all the documentation that they needed yep. to have their pet. And then you end up with a feuding neighbor. See? And Jeff wants me to feud because he doesn't want me to have monkey time. I'll leave the monkey alone. The monkey's not bothering anybody. I mean, if it were, if the, if your neighbor had a pit bull or a Rottweiler or something like that, would you report them? Yes. Uh, yes, I would. <laughs> Yes, I would. Follow the rules. Y- y- yes. You know, you know what? This is ridiculous. Do me a favor, uh, Cynthia. Hang on for just one second. Don't go anywhere. Uh, that's great. Look at that. Two to nothing already. I know. Okay, you've heard both sides. It's time to pass your ruling. So put on your best Judge Judy or Night Court hat and call now. 828-240-1059. One of these guys is going home unhappy. The ruling is next on 105.9. The Mountain. It is Rizzo and Jeff show. We are in the middle of Listener Court brought to you by our good friends at Voodoo Brewing. Uh, check them out. Uh, they're down there in Arden. They have all kinds of delicious food. Burgers soon to be famous. You hear the commercials. Our good friend Bill, thank you. Shout out to him. Now, if you're just tuning in, Jeff, uh, I have a neighbor that, uh, and I'll be honest with you when I say that I believe is hiding the fact that uh, they have a monkey. Uh, now I say that because I leave for work, uh, in the three o'clock hour in the morning. So that's when I see the monkey out and it's kind of like a unwritten thing. I like the monkey. We have monkey talk. I like monkey time, but I'm afraid somebody's going to report it Mm. and you want me to report it. I do. I do. I want you to be the first out of the gate with this. Uh, I don't believe that it's appropriate uh, to be having a, a monkey as a pet, I I've heard too many horror stories uh, that that go along with it, and I just think that they need to be with other monkeys. And I think in a confined space, it's it's not a good idea. Let them be. They're they're wild animals at the end of the day. I know I get it. It's heartfelt. It's it's beautiful. It's cute. That whole kind of thing. But come on, man. Uh, let's not be selfish here. There are so many people on the phone. Eight two eight two four zero one zero five nine. I cannot keep. Uh, people on long enough. Uh, we have Kathy. I think we have Valerie. Uh, there's like four other people. So I'm going to try to get at least Kathy, maybe Valerie in here. Kathy, good morning. Uh, what do you think here? Oh, I I have to tell you that uh, I'm an animal lover. Okay. So uh, I'm de- I'm definitely leaning on the side of, you know, there's a lot of different species that could be dangerous, mm-hmm. but you know, following the precautions and following the the right way of raising these animals, mm. I really do believe that it is the owner's choice is legal and they have the appropriate paperwork to back that up. Leave them alone. Ah, mm. You know what? Okay. I'm with you. You know what? Brilliantly said. Brilliantly spoken. Yeah. Hang on for one second. That was, that was beautiful. I, I, I appreciate it. Let's get to Valerie here. Valerie, good morning. What do you think? Hello. 
What do I think? I think you guys need to get a grip on your monkey. That's what I think. What do you there mean? There's nothing get wrong with having a pet monkey, especially one of them little ones. I've had friends who've had pet monkeys, and they're a riot. Right, so you've had fr- right, so get right. You've had friends that have had pet monkeys. Get a grip on it. Yes, let the I monkey have. right, and they were good, right? They were cool. Everything was good, they right? They were awesome little creatures. That's it. Obviously, you're not going to have a pet gorilla unless you have a death wish. Correct. Right. right. Correct. Okay. I'm right. just talking a cute little monkey thing. Yes, there's all different kinds of monkeys. I don't know much about the different kinds, but. I've seen people, I mean, I worked with a girl who used to bring her monkey to work. Uh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. It was strange, but that monkey was so docile. What it a, would nap most of the time. It was beautiful. Beautiful yeah, well, who docile. Who knows she had the monkey on? Well, no? well listen, no. do, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on for a second, Valerie. Don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll be right back. More of the Rizzo and Jeff show. We're talking, should wow. I keep my monkey? I well, not t- my monkey. Should I report my neighbor for having the monkey? No, I think I'm, Valerie like. I think we, I mean, people like the monkeys, Jeff. You can Asheville have, is pro monkey. Asheville, pro monkey. I love it. I didn't know that there were that many people that had pet monkeys that just prowled around town. Well, there's this thing on HBO. It's one of the top trending things. It's called like Chimp Crazy or something. Now that lady took like a like a chimpanzee. Like that's different. But this they, is and, a, and it ripped her face to shreds. It, but this is a little baby monkey. All right. So a little baby monkey, I think, is a little bit different. So I'm going to try to get to as many people as I can. Let's just get to Jeff and see. But I listen. I think I've already won this. But I'd like to sure it up, so I'll get to Jeff and as many of you as I can. Uh, Jeff, good morning, my friend. What do you think, buddy? Well, my aunt, 40 years ago, she had a monkey. And um, the room that she had it in, she was a clean person, but it stank. And uh, it was bad about throwing its poop on you. I don't know if this monkey that your neighbor has is like that or not. Well, yeah. I don't think it's a, a, a poopy, smelly monkey. Well, I'm but sure it's a, it is, it's, but, you know, it's not like you're walking out like a dog, but do they get nasty, Jeff, or what? What happens with monkeys? Well, this one was, it was bit at you, and um, she said it was mean. Never did let me pet it. This is like 40 years ago, I'm saying. I was a teenager. Yeah. See that? See that? Yeah, you got to be careful. I, you got to be careful uh. with these capuchins. All right, Jeff, hang on for just one second. Doc, what do you think here, Doc? How you doing? What do you got on the monkeys here? Man, I don't know. I, I really think you should just leave that critter alone. I really? Mean, See, I agree I, with I, you. Why? Why Why well, do you think I mean, that? You know what? Like you said, they're sociable animals. Mm-hmm. You know, they're with their human. If they're not out there wreaking havoc, you know, leave it alone. For now. Uh, well, it, well. Uh, you know, it's, uh, but they're wild animals at the end of the day. No, they're Doc. not. They're not. They're domesticated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Je- Jeff's trying to make it seem like we got a zoo animal here. This is a domesticated animal. You got this thing walking around wearing outfits, evidently. It does so, I mean, have. It it's got a cute. Sort of... It's got a cute little outfit. Aww. I mean, you know, you just need to leave. You just need to leave them alone. I don't know. I'm just top person. I like my own business. But you know, if it ain't out there destroying stuff and hurting other people, you know, just leave it be. And you know. I just think it's it, it's an okay thing. Jeff, I knew that uh, monkeying around was no monkey business. Uh, you know, 822 tickets to uh, hang out with us at uh, Ash Oktoberfest. And uh, Jeff, if you want to hang out with us at Oktoberfest, I got to tell you, Grandma Emma didn't think it was a good idea, but she had a bad monkey experience. Yeah, she did. Uh, I, I don't necessarily agree with her assertion that monkeys are mean. You know what I mean? She said no. he was that monkey was throwing knives. Yeah, what but kind mon- of monkey th- throws knives. He's not a knife monkey. Monkeys in captivity, they get nasty on you, those little things. Like you heard it say, they stink, they smell, they crap everywhere. And yeah. Listen, listen, what, listen, 828 We're in the middle of Listener Court, brought to you by our good friends at Voodoo Brewing, uh, right down there in Arden. Shout out to Voodoo Brewing. Check them out. What do you think, to keep a monkey or not keep a monkey? It's 1059 The Mountain Nashville's Classic Rock. Looks like Asheville wants me to keep my monkey friend, Jeff. That's uh, the way it's looking here. You're doing it all for your own selfish gain. That's it. It's selfish because I want to play and pet a monkey? Yes, exactly. Yes. All right. Well, you know what? Either way, the monkey is not being reported. And if any of you people 
Report this monkey. I'll find you. Any of you? Or Anyone Jeff, listening? Or Jeff. <laughs> or you too. Okay, it's clear they learned nothing. So we'll have to do this again next week. Another edition of Listener Court next Tuesday at 8 a.m. It is 105.9 The Mount Nashville's Classic Rock, The Rizzo, and the Jeff Show. Want to put an end to this uh, Listener Court here. We got to move on to the JNN. We got Grimace stories. We got uh, Jimmy Carter's birthday. So much going on. But, uh, you know, to uh, report a monkey, not report a monkey, uh, you know, it seems to be that people who see monkeys around, I guess, don't want me to do it. But we have somebody on the phone who says that they owned a monkey. Right. Uh, so they wanted to give us their perspective. 828-240-1059. Good morning. Hello. What do you think here? Hello? I'm on the other side. Why? Why? Well, because I had I had a pet monkey when I was about twelve years old, okay. and he was mean. He was one of the little ones. He was mean. He threw his poop at you when you got near him. If he got out, he would bite. So, and um, he did have he did have body odor. Plus, I, I went on a safari last year, and those little guys were everywhere, and they will steal you blind. So, 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 wait a minute. They rob you. They throw poop at you. Right. They stink. They have bo. How come nobody said this? Everyone wants because this monkey's been so nice to me. Well, because probably they they haven't been around one. Right. So everybody I mean, loves yeah. the idea, don't they? It sounds great. It's cute until you're really around them. They're nasty little things. Yes, they are. Really? So you're telling me under yeah. you would never get... Now, how did you get a pet monkey at 12? I guess your parents got it for you. Where'd you get it? Yeah, I mean, well, I'm old. It, it was at least 30 years ago. But, but yeah, my dad got it for us. We lived in Florida. Really? Wow, see? And, yeah. Uh, yeah, and he was cute. I mean, he was really cute, but he was mean. But cute as a button, huh? Really cute, yeah. See, okay. And I, I like a little cute yeah. as a butt. Cute in the yeah. pic, cute in the picture. Well, but I'll tell you what. In, in real life, forget it. But you know what? You're the only person I've talked to. No, the the second person I've talked to, and both of the people who have had pet monkeys have said, "Do not do it, Grandma Emma and you." So you're saying, right. do, so report this this monkey. Well, no, I don't think you should report it. I mean, I don't like to get anybody in trouble, but. I don't think it's right that they have a monkey. Yeah, no, okay. I mean, uh-huh. you speak from experience. I I, I appreciate uh, I appreciate your call this morning. Thank you very much. Uh, what do you got here on this monkey situation? Yeah, I've um, pretty much you've already reported it by making it uh, public on the airway. Well, no, um, no my, one, my comment, no one knows my where I live, but. Is, well, my comment is, if your wife is fine with you playing with your neighbor's monkey, more power to you. Just don't be spanking it out in public. Uh, yeah, that's all right. You uh, want to treat you want to treat your neighbor's monkey right. Don't spank it in respect. public. And with respect, I agree. You know what? Brilliantly said. Yeah. Brilliantly spoken. Thank like you. a true gentleman. Thank you you're very a, much. You're a, you, we could you're tell a ge- you're a scholar. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Uh, the Rizzo right. and Jeff yeah. show. It is what it is. The monkey stays. <laughs> right. I ain't reporting it. That's the end of Lister Court. Thank you to Voodoo Brewing. Thank you to Bill. Go down, check him out in Arden. Now we got to play a little REM here, everybody. Okay, so bye. enjoy. And then the JNM. We got to calm down on Monkey the Chat. The okay? of Monkey Chat. It's done. It is 105.9 The Mountain, Nashville's Classic Rock, The Rizzo, and Jeff Show. Just under two hours until your next shot at $1,000. But it's time for the JNN. Brought to you by Train Heating and Cooling Systems. They're tested, retested, engineered, and re-engineered to keep up with you because we all run together. Visit traininfo.com to find your local independent train dealer. That's traininfo.com because it's hard to stop a train. The JNN. No longer Asheville's newest, but still least reliable news outlet. Guys, can't we just tell them to go to 828news.com? All right, fine. The JNN Jeff News Network is ready to inform, enlighten, and, well, keep trying anyways. The JNN is on 105.9 The Mountain now. Diddy was finally taken into federal custody in New York uh, last night. Homeland Security 
uh, swooped in uh, to a hotel in uh, Midtown where Diddy was staying, and they arrested him. Uh, now, Homeland Security arresting you, who generally deals, uh, they say, with uh, human trafficking and things of that nature. Uh, got him, and it, you know, there's uh, you know, stuff coming out about 30 minutes prior where he was just hanging out at the hotel, laughing it up with people. Uh, there was about 30 minutes before the federal agents came into the Park Hyatt Hotel, uh, and they wound up uh, getting him. So uh, he looked happy and all that Did kind they? of stuff. Well, they were saying that it's being said that he knew this was going to be happening, and that's the reason why he came to New York uh, to make things, I guess, a little bit easier, or whatever it may be. I'm not so sure that's the case. Who knows? Uh, supposedly, he was supposed to go down today, but for whatever reason, they wound up arresting him last night. He's going to be seeing a judge this morning. Uh, where they will, uh, you know, unseal all of the documents and what uh, the charges he's going to be facing. Well, Diddy was having a good time till this happened. We have some breaking news tonight, as we can now report here at CNN that the embattled musician and producer Sean Diddy Combs has mm. now been arrested. That's according to the mogul's attorney and what they are telling CNN tonight. According to a source, Combs was arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening. He is right now being processed. The charges are unclear at this time, and an attorney for Combs tells CNN, quote, we are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs. Oh, really? CNN's Elizabeth Wagmeister is with, a, is with us right now. Elizabeth, what can you tell us about this arrest tonight? He has 10 civil suits against him, uh, many of which include very disturbing allegations of, of drugging. So, yeah. drugging and all that kind of stuff. Not good, Diddy. Uh, I gotta say, uh, with the exception of maybe Reginald Val Johnson, uh, you can't be drugging people. You can't well, You can't do the old cause. Well, there was that story about him and Carl Winslow, uh, you know, doing what they did. So, uh, and if you don't know about that, just Google, just Google. Diddy and Carl Winslow. And then uh, enjoy that little nugget. Okay. Remember, we gave that to you. <laughs> what? Are we still doing this? Really? Wow. Okay. The JNN is puttering. Be it around the H-2-8, out in Canton, being lapped by silver sneakers at the French Broad River, or just rereading news by reputable news sources. The JNN is on your radio now on 105.9 The Mountain. All right. Uh, speaking of puttering, uh, this could be something that maybe... No, he, there's well, no puttering about him. Well, this could be something that maybe uh, gets the Panthers going, okay? Because <laughs> that's just yeah. that thing is just falling apart to pieces, uh... Over there, uh, the, yeah. uh, the the New York Mets uh, are going to honor Grimace, Grimace with his own stadium seat. Uh, he's getting a commemorative purple seat, which is going to be located section three hundred two, I don't know, uh, row six, seat twelve, and it's going to have it. his name on it. Uh, it's going to be part of the team's upcoming fan appreciation uh, this weekend. He became the Mets' good luck charm. After the Mets had a seven-game winning streak uh, earlier in the summer, uh, now mind you that the New York Metropolitans are <laughs> are eight games out of the lead for the division as we have a few weeks to go here. So, uh, you know, Grimace uh, helped them out then, and then it seems like Grimace fell flat, uh, being eight games out. Not listen, a good listen, look. Listen, Eighty-two let's, wins for them. That's all right. Listen, I guess. Listen, be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Because you don't know the power of the Grim. All right. How big's the seat? Let me tell you about the seat. All right, we have Grimace pool floats. Just say it's a big seat for somebody big. It's a big, big seat. That's yeah. a double wide, okay? Yeah. Trailer pride kind of seat. Now, let me tell you about this. Jeff and I have a long history with Grimace. As a matter of fact, Jeff and I went viral about two, three years ago with a TikTok video where we went to McDonald's begging for Grimace floats. They weren't around. Well, now we are in possession. <laughs> not one, not two, but three. Eight foot long by six foot wide Grimace floats. We have always backed the Grimace, and I find it to be a little hypocritical that you would report on Grimace in such negative fashion, Jeff. Well, I, I feel like it's irresponsible as well, a journalist. Let me tell you, I looked on eBay uh, to see what those Grimace floats were going for, see if we could make a few bucks. Uh, there's about 500 of them on there, so we might as well just float on them <laughs> down the French broad. <laughs> down the French broad. Like, That'll be it. The dirty yeah, French yeah, broad yeah, like yeah, Melissa. Yeah, yeah. We've asked them to stop, but they just keep making it worse. So we pick and choose our battles. The Jeff News Network, or as you might know it, the JNN, is on your radio limping 
seem like it's anchored to the finish line. We promise it'll all be over soon and then back to some music. On 105.9 The Mountain. President Jimmy Carter's still alive. I, uh, I, uh, and uh, he's 99. Good for uh, him. And he's going to be 100 years old on October 1st. October 1st will be uh, yeah, He's going to make it? Uh, do I think he's going to make it? Uh, he, We've had him in our death pool for like six years. He's not. He just, he, I bet he wants to make it to 100. Is he gonna? It's it's gonna be the Bob Barker, you know, where you get to ninety nine and you get to all yeah. right. So uh, there is a birthday celebration that's gonna happen for the longest living president in the country's history. Uh, it's going on at Atlanta's Fox Theater. Now let me run down some of the performers for you. And if you're Jimmy, mm. uh, do you say to yourself, "This is a good one"? The B fifty twos are going to be performing at Jimmy Carter's hundredth, uh, along with uh, Love Shack and Rock Lobster. Along Love with it. BB Winans, got to be old. Don't know who that is. BB Winans, a little R and B thing there. I think Eric Church. Eric Church. Yeah, a little young for Jimmy, but all right. India Ari. Okay. Mm, not his cup of tea, no. but okay. All right. Marin Morris. Okay, so you're going to get... Why don't you just meet me in the middle, Marin, Marin Morris. Morris? Okay. And now your special appearances from Renee Zellweger. <laughs> Sean Penn. <laughs> and rapper... Killer Mike. Killer Mike's going to Jimmy Carter's birthday. <laughs> it's going to his 100th birthday. Uh, see, I guess. So we got Zell Wigger and we have Killer Mike. Uh, and Sean Penn. And along Sean with, Penn. Along with India Array for his big birthday bash what, for Jimmy Carter. What a Carter bonanza. Oh, man. Well, they're rewarding him for the job he did in the 70s. Where you had to get gas based on your license plate. Mm-hmm. And they asked Jimmy, would you like to watch it live on a stream? He said, no thanks. <laughs> so He's not even going to be there. <laughs> he doesn't want to say that. Hey, you. Yeah. yeah, I'm talking to you. Did you think that was funny? Yeah. We're kind of 50-50 on it, but eh, it's still good for these guys. And the show is free, so what did you expect? More of the Rizzo and Jeff Show next. It is 105.9 The Mountain Nashville's Classic Rock. You are listening to the Rizzo and Jeff Show, and the Rizzo and Jeff Show does not like you going into work without knowing the biggest stories of the day. A lot of times Jeff gets them. A lot of times he misses them. That brings us to Rizzo and Jeff's Razzle Dazzle. From Tinseltown to the 828 and beyond, it's time to Razzle Dazzle on the Rizzo and Jeff Show. All the things that are not fit to print, talk about, mention, discuss, or frankly that important, but somehow find their way here. We're sorry, and yes, Jeff can't stand it either. Time for Rizzo's Razzle Dazzle on 105.9 The Mountain. Sorry. No, no, no need to apologize. Mm -hmm. Jeff, a woman, uh, went to Wendy's every day, three times a day, and unlike the movie Super Size Me, she lost 200 pounds. As a matter of fact, she could be the modern-day Jared in almost every sense. Pump pump (laughs) your brakes. Okay, all right. Uh, Pump your brakes. The modern-day Jared is, as far as, got real big on other burgers and fries, but now she's down to a smaller size because of Wendy's. Okay, all right. Now she's safe. Thank you. Yeah, She's got quite... Uh, the recipe for you. So imagine a double stack. No bun. Can't bun it. Love a good double stack, don't you? I, I love them. I know. Mm-mm-mm. You wrap it in lettuce, but then you put a spicy nugget on it, and you can have yourself one healthy meal three times a day. This is my Wendy's order. You can eat this meal for only 530 calories, and it has 34 grams of protein. Mm. I got a double stack with no bun, add tomato, lettuce, and applewood smoked bacon, a four count spicy nugget, and a Diet Coke for the haters. I like to add a chicken nugget to my burger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yummy. Now it's the perfect bite. Or sometimes I just dip my nuggets. Wendy's sweet and sour sauce and their barbecue sauce is only 40 calories. And she is just munching and crunching away, Jeff. She's lost 200 pounds. Good for and her. Boy, oh boy. See, what, what, what resiliency. Look, I get it. You're, you're cutting out a lot of the carbs and things of that nature. But what these people fail to tell you is that she's at the gym 64 times a day. 
oh, while she eats oh, that. Come yeah, on, you're no, telling me she did not. She's no, not gym at no, all. Nope. What she does is she goes for a light walk around the park and she eats at Wendy's three times a day. Double stack with cheese, wrapped in lettuce with some spicy nuggets for people. But you got to get a Diet Coke. Yeah. You got to go Diet Coke. Yeah. That's it. I wonder, uh, what's the Baconator without a bun? <laughs> the Baconator? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have their menu. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, well, it says the Baconator. Or th- Did you say son of or just the Baconator? Oh, Please, okay. I don't got time for the kid. All right, <laughs> give me the whole thing. Thirty three hundred and eighteen yeah. calories. I don't want Wendy. Give me Dave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they are windbags, so it's time for another inhaler break. We told you they were fluffy. More of the Rizzo and Jeff show is next on one hundred five nine. The lollies, LSD, and lollygaggers. That is what didn't make the show today. <laughs> Rizzo and Jeff tried to do their work today, but just couldn't quite get it done. So here's where they try to cram it all in at the end. It's what didn't make the show on 105.9 The Mountain. The Drew Barrymore program. One Sucks. Of the, one of the more, uh, you know, what, average, shows? average programs you they have weird, out there, and uh, they try. You see the weird interview she did with uh, uh, Kamala Harris where she just, like, sat like an inch from her? She did, and yeah. And she was like, and you know, she's awkward to, to, she had a hot to begin mic, with. But. She had a hot mic moment, too. She let out a toot. Oh, okay. So uh, it's, 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 been a, it's been a bumpy ride. But yeah. anyway, she had 50 Cent on, Curtis Jackson. And she said, here's two lollies. Pick out the expensive lolly, and one of them's worth 500 And you want to know why? Well, this is why. Would you ever pay $500 for a sucker? No, but I feel like that right there was $100. I know. <laughs> I know, no, break. I know, by the way. When we broke that, that was $100. I know. Here, I'll just eat it. I don't care. I eat off the floor. I, <laughs> you can judge me all you want. <laughs> all right. All right, so it's because it was a platinum uh, encrusted champagne imported Italian lolly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So oh, that's... Is that it? That's what she's doing on her show? <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sheesh. I and mean, that's just got to be some daytime sadness. When is she even on? What time is that show on? And what is it on? I think it's after the Rizzo and Jeff show. Yeah, probably, okay. probably, probably like 11. What channel is it on? 74. 74. <laughs> 74. You get the you get the bunny. 74.2. You, you get the bunny ears and you bang the TV to get it to. Remember, you just have to do that. Yeah, to the get bang. It to, right. It's a TV bang. That's and you're it. Sitting and you see Drew and you punch it again. Yeah. <laughs> Rizzo and Jeff tried to do their work today, but just couldn't quite get it done. So here's uh, where they try to cram it all in at the end. It's what didn't make the show on 105.9 The Mountain. LSD! So did you hear about the four-year-old boy that had to get airlifted off of a Carnival cruise ship by the Coast Guard? Apparently a doctor examined this child and told the parents that he his signs and symptoms were symptoms of being on LSD. Mm. Acid. The candy store. This kid got dosed with LSD on the cruise ship. Carnival. What are we doing here? And not for nothing. It sounds like he's so, having a lot of fun at the carnival. So the kid the kid goes to a candy store on the way back. The parents take him to the candy store. They buy the candy. He takes the candy. The candy has LSD. Yeah, the candy's laced a, with LSD. On a carnival cruise ship. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, I got to tell you. <laughs> it's international waters, man. Anything can happen out there. You know what I mean? Do we have any details on... Uh, where what where on that trip was and where it's going? It's the carnival fascination. I got, I got vacation days. Yeah, me too. We got the burn them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rizzo and Jeff tried to do their work today, but just couldn't quite get it done. So here's where they try to cram it all in at the end. It's what didn't make the show on 1059 the mountain. We all have one of these at the office. A person who likes to call out the mess maker. Now, newscasters oftentimes disguise their news to hurt and insult. Be weary of your local newsmen. I'll give you an example. They did a story, totally made up, uh, to shame a production assistant for leaving a toothpick on the floor. Monster.com has come up with a list of the top five rudest behaviors in the workplace coming in at number one which by the way why are you starting number one you're supposed to count down because right? they're, they're they're doing it this on wasn't purpose, the right? story wasn't on the docket and no, they put it on there right. yeah, yeah, yeah yeah coming in at number one 
not cleaning up after yourself. Case in point, someone left this dental floss pick in our control room. Mm. <laughs> uh, for our producers to find this morning, there's a close-up. No one knows if it's used or not, but again, no one's brave enough to... Oh, oh. Taylor's saying it's used, and no one's brave enough yeah. to touch it. So they're just going to walk around it all morning. So there you go. Watch out for your local news people. And I won't say who. We will not mention names, but there is a local news individual who refuses to send Jeff the weather in the morning. Uh, we've tried to establish a relationship, a connection, uh, ask this person to come on, and this person just ignores and has taken Jeff off of the weather list. Yeah. and uh, God forbid I get run over by a truck. Yeah. You, you have no weather. Yeah, and let me tell you. I don't give a crap. How about that? Rizzo and Jeff love two things, local and free. We aim to please, so Rizzo and Jeff are going to catch their breath. No, for real. They tire easily. And we'll be right back after a word from some of our great local businesses. That's why 105.9 The Mountain will always be free.